This is Car Seat Vlogs Look at the Peg Perego Primo Viaggio 435 Infancy. We're going to do a few installations starting with the latch system. As with most seats, you can find the latch stored in the base. And we're simply going to take the connector and locate the latch anchor in the vehicle, plug it in until you hear a click, make sure it is solidly connected. Then we're going to push the base up against the vehicle seat and we're going to find the adjuster strap, which happens to be on the other side. One trick to use is to bring that adjuster strap, instead of pulling it outward away from the seat to tighten, we're gonna kinda of pull it back across the base through the same belt path to tighten it, pushing down on both sides to get it tight, getting as much slack as possible. And just with that little effort, you can see this is basically rock solid and not moving anywhere. And then the final steps are to close the lock off and your installation is complete. And we'll take a look at the angle adjuster. It tells you that there are three different ranges for children, four to 11 pounds, 11 to 22, 23 to 35. And the leg to adjust that is adjusted with this knob up or down. If you find that you're not quite in the range for the size infant you have, you can adjust that up or down and then re-tighten to get it to the appropriate angle. Next, we are going to do the seat belt installation. And again, we'll check the adjustment of the foot. I've got mine lowered all the way down to increase the angle to the greatest amount. I'm going to thread just the lap belt portion of the seat belt through the two guides. And then I'm going to buckle it in on the far side. And now I'm going to push down and I'm going to start tightening, holding the shoulder belt with one hand while I put some pressure on the base into the vehicle seat with the other. And with just that much effort, kind of wiggling back and forth on both sides, I've got it tight. Now I'm going to pass that shoulder belt back through both of these guides. I'm gonna hold on to it, hold that tension in that I've pulled it tight so that I can clamp it now with the lock off. And now that it's tight, I'm going to check it for that one inch roll. And just like before with latch, it's moving barely in either direction, front to back or side to side when I grab the base down here near where the seatbelt is routed. It could move up to an inch or less and still be good installation, but this is essentially rock solid. 